Oi, boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with the Manly Moringa Seagulls, round 23. And we are trying to put together five wins for our last five games of the season. We've already won two. And if you haven't seen them, mate, they're easily our toughest games of the season these past two weeks. Uh, they felt like finals games as we get a glimpse of the Tigers lineup here. I'll take this time to shout out the lads, shout out to the Odd Squad. Show yourselves in the comment section down below what they hashtag Odd Squad. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to run it straight at that like button. And let's also see some eagles flying through the comment section. Three more rounds remaining in the regular season. Can we get those three wins and complete the past five of straight W's? Back at Lockhart Oval, I've got to say, this is uh, one of my favorite places to play in these suburban grounds. So this one and uh, another that comes to mind, Balmore Sports Ground, I think. And I forget if there's even any others, but those two in particular, I love it. I love the scenery, the background of the houses and the bush surrounding the stadium. It's nice, it feels like a... Uh... Hold up, hold up, we gotta get the kick away. Damn it, we're not gonna get it away. We're scrambling. Oh, they turn it over though. All right, an absolute blunder to start for the Tigers. First set. Oh, kill him. And the high tackle. First. Drew in two, but Aloyai just uh, went in a different direction. Fifth and last. DCE. Olakawatu. Can we sneak in the corner of Saab? Yes, we can. That was the ugliest, the ugliest set you'll see. Man, that was bad. As you try and convert this, will it have enough legs? Yes, it does. Barely makes the crossbar. O'Shea, aka Aloyai, definitely earned his name back these past few weeks. Our markers, bro, they're so slow. Oh, kill him. Gotta keep your eyes on Dan Laurie. He was the one that carved for them the last time we played. What a ball to Parker as we get around Laurie. Bro, what is this? About time they give the penalty away. The longest tackle ever. Oh my god, are you sh me? How do we not find touch off that? Fourth tackle. DCE. Cut out ball. Straight through Big Marty. The offload, was it touched? I believe. It was, not got no advantage. Yes, it was. Get deeper, lads, get deeper. Bro, this ain't it. Morgan Harper, there we go. Finally, a decent try. Just a quick hands from Tom Jabojevic. Gets Morgan Harper over. Simple stuff, it's the off the ball runs that I like. The decoy runners, the options, both the inside and out. Morgan Harper just squeezes through. How's this? Another beauty. We got by 12 with the nine remaining in the first half. Yeah, look at O'Shea. So at the break, it's been one way traffic straight through Tiger Town. Look at that. Almost 90% time of possession, seven from seven completions. No errors, no penalties conceded. And then we take a look over to the west side of the, uh, the stat sheet here. 14% time of possession, two from five completions, five errors, two penalties conceded. The absolute worst showing from the AI in quite some time. This Tigers team's on like a four game losing streak. I think four or five. I had a little look at the ladder before actually starting the match. Probably should have shared it with you lot, but trust me, they're on a bit of a losing streak. And they're definitely playing like it as well. Beautiful ball, Dylan Walker. Cade Custer's away. And is he gone? I think so. So tempted to throw that ball. Almost, almost. We get a dope sweeping set up to the left here. But we're not going to use Tom. Beautiful execution for this uh, wide play from right to left. Let's take another look at the replay. So off this, we usually hit Tom Jabojevic, but we use him as a decoy runner this occasion. 
Look at him sitting tight on the shoulder. And it works to treat as it frees up Brad Parker. Garrick. Perfect off the boot so far. Three from three. We go up by 18 points. It's about time we had a cruisy type of game like this. We've been in the trenches these last these last couple of weeks. Albeit we haven't been coming out on top. But it's a nice change of pace. Alright, Marty's off for his first uh, Oh nah, come on. Every time I make an interchange, we throw a forward pass. But yeah, Marty's off for his first break. We've got to bring Schuster off as well. Move Harmole to the uh, the left edge. Who else needs a rest here? Croker. What I might do is chuck Cust at Hooker. And bring Jake back in. As they try to play similar to ours in the first half. And they're going to get over Ken Mamalo. Too powerful. There it is. There's the grounding. Right, it's about time they did something to the lighting. It was getting a little too dark for me. But Brooks here to get them within 12 points. Still plenty of time on the clock and he misses. But we're going to come back to Tom. Oh, there's no one out here. Oh my goodness. Bit of a blunder to end the game. With 32 minutes remaining. We couldn't get that second try in the second half. But I tell you what. It's been a dominant performance nonetheless. We kind of took our foot off the gas. Alright, so there you have it. We end the game quite poorly. We made five errors in the second half. Brad Parker picking up man of the match. But as always, boys, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more League Life 4 content and more content in general, be sure to run and share that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you. 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 Nowadays, everybody wanna be Later. gangster. Uh -huh. Rapping about what they from. See my bro, we don't talk about it because we really did what we done. All this talk about drillers, I'll tell you now you ain't one from the bottom.